Wow, it works. Look, it's the amazing uh, Mickey D's and spiral antenna. Or is it a big load of crap? Well, you know, every once in a while I see these things uh, promising amazing performance and uh, with, with little money. That's usually the first clue. Shortwave antennas are no exception. I think a bulk of them uh, are right next to anything that aids your lowering your golf score or goes over your uh, your wrist that's made out of copper that uh, you know enhances your uh, anyway. You know, I get really tired of this stuff. <clears throat> And lately, my favorite one has been the the Sherway broomstick antenna. Uh, there seem to be a number of these being peddled on eBay for twenty bucks. Um, you know, the first clue ought to be that um, if you see something that maybe the big boys aren't using, like the military, it might be a clue. You know, those folks spend millions of dollars every day doing research and probably. Uh, making communications more and more reliable. Yet I don't see them using broomstick antennas. And I'm hoping that they'll pick up on the uh, Mickey D spiral antenna here. Think of the money I'll make. Or maybe I'll sell this for 19 bucks on eBay. Or maybe I'll just tell you the truth and say it's a load up. Anyway. You want to spend some real money and do something useful. There's nothing to stop you from making a reasonably good antenna for shortwave use. You can get the materials cheap enough. Matter of fact, this came on a spool of 500 feet of wire. It would be just perfect for a shortwave antenna. There are a lot of different types. There's nothing to stop you from using this. Um, I paid a whole dollar for this at a garage sale. Another secret great place to uh, get materials for shortwave antennas is the local farm store. Uh, Tractor Supply comes to mind. These handy dandy little insulators here. I got ten of them in a bag for about five bucks. These are brand new. And they're over by the electric fencing supplies. Amazingly enough, there are literally big giant rolls of mm, probably about, I don't know, maybe 18 gauge galvanized steel wire that would be just perfect for an antenna. You know, if you just want to experiment and play, there's enough antenna material in there probably for dozens of antennas. There, you know that that a roll of that wire was last time I ever saw it was about fourteen dollars. That's a heck of a deal for a, a quarter mile of wire. Something else you might want to buy is maybe you ought to buy a book. Spend that nineteen ninety five or nineteen ninety nine plus no shipping on a book. I don't see the I don't see the broomstick antenna in the book. Funny, I don't think the American Radio Relay League is very up on antennas. They have uh, thousands of members spending the thousands of man hours, or woman hours, or somebody hours, doing research in antennas. Don't you think people that want to transmit on shortwave would know what they're talking about? It gets a bit tiring. <clears throat> Another little trick to shortwave antennas, or at least the broomstick antenna, is there's a big giveaway. Let's see here, we'll just use this piece of paper. Right? It's it's just the word broomstick. And you take the first letter and the second and put them down here together. There's a dead giveaway. Right up there with things that make your bowling score better. Increase the size of certain things. It's just right off the stable floor. Use your brain, not your pocketbook. And to be really fair, <clears throat> if you stop and think about it, um, all antennas probably don't work equally well in all installations. Some of them probably work better. That's probably why you have so many arguments and variations. The guys say, well, I'm, I've got the XYZ antenna and it works great. And another guy says, I tried the XYZ antenna and I thought it stunk on wheels. Well, it might be the installation, it might be the quality materials, it might be the radio, another piece of the system. 
you know, if you're interested in shortwave listening, don't just think of the radio. Think of the radio and your feed line and your antenna and your installation and where you're located. Uh, one thing's pretty true. Like real estate, location, location, location. Don't be afraid to pack up your stuff and move and go somewhere else and see if there are better locations. It's something to think about, and it's one of the variables. There are hundreds of variables, not just whether you buy some plastic-coated rod. That ought to be a giveaway. Anyway, have a groovy day. Don't spend your money all in one place.